in previous videos we learned writing in Roman numerals till 100 and now in this video we're going to learn uh, writing in Roman numerals from 100 to 200 uh, 100 to 500 between 100 to 500 right so you already know what is uh, what is the meaning of I what is the meaning of V and these all things we have already uh, discussed here in very well manner uh, yes let me show you yes here all right so we're going to discuss between these two numbers right C represents 100 and, and D represents 500 so main thing uh, I'm gonna tell you here uh, what is necessary uh, before 500 before 500 you can put only C keep in mind before 500 you cannot put X okay before 500 you cannot put I okay before 500 you cannot put 5 okay before 500 you cannot put L before 500 you cannot put other things you know uh, except C you can just place C before and before uh, before 500 if you put C it means it's going to be 400 keep in mind and similarly C is your 100 right before C you can only place X before C if you are going to write uh, suppose I that's going to be wrong. Before C, if you're going to write L, that's going to be wrong. Before C, if you're writing uh, anything uh, like M also, uh, uh, not M, M you can write. Uh, before C, just like you cannot write, uh, like before C, you cannot put V, okay? That's also going to be wrong. And now, after D, what we can write? After D, we can write anything, like uh, we can write C, all right? Uh, we can write uh, after D we can write I after D uh, we can write X also after D we can write V also after D anything can be possible similarly C after C you can put I after C you can put V after C you can put uh, X after C you can put L anything you can put and similarly uh, C can be repeated three times maximum I have already mentioned all right but D cannot be repeated three times. Keep in mind, neither D can be repeated two times. This is wrong. This is wrong. D can be written only one time. All right. Uh, if you want to write two D together, then what does this mean? mean D means 500 and 500. That's 100. So uh, sorry, 500 and 500. That's 1000. And for that we have for 1000 we have M. We will be using M symbol for that. Okay. So let's write uh, suppose 100. For 100 we write C. And if I'm writing 101, then I'll be writing C1, all right? And if I'm writing 102, then I'll write C double I. Same process again. Again, 103, if I'm writing, then I'll write C111, all right? And if I'm writing, suppose, 105, then what I'll do, I'll write 100 and then 5. If I'm writing 108, then I'll write 108, VII. Okay, uh, I represents here one. Okay, my handwriting is really bad. I'm sorry for that. Uh, if you're writing now 110, what you'll do? C X. That's 100. If you're writing 115, what you'll do? C and then 15 for 10 and then fee, uh, 5. So this is 15 actually. And if you're writing 120, then again C X X. If you're writing 130, then it is C 1 2 3. 30 all right for 140 you'll be writing C uh, X L because X L is 40 and in C that is in 100 you're going to add 40 okay uh, read in that way don't read like 100 and then 10 110 and then 50 160 it's not because after C the sequence is breaking means after that you need to take this all together all right and now, if you're writing 160, what do you do? Yes, uh, first we need to write 150. For 150, C and L. 160 again, C, L, and X. All right. 170, what do you do? 100, 50, 60, and 70. Similarly, 180, if you want to write, then uh, 100, 50, 160, 170, 180. And for 190, how you'll write? Yes, 100. And again, yes, X and C. Now, see, I told you C is a sequence, 
after that uh, we, we expect another C but we are not getting we are getting X means after that when you take this all together so X C represents 90 so 190 it is now 190 okay if you're writing now 200 what you'll do yes for writing 200 uh, you'll be uh, writing one C and another C two C together okay and for the 300 yes you can write three three times I already told you here right uh, 100 200 300 okay and now if you want to write uh, 400 uh, you know uh, if you write 300 and further it's the same way uh, writing the numbers like uh, 350 to 1 right then what you'll write you'll write 300 first and then 50 if you write suppose 388 if you want to write how you'll do 100 200 388 50 350 360 370 380 and 8 and now 8 380 and 8 for 8 you'll be using uh, V now 385 386 387 388 okay and uh, what about 389 for 389 first write 300 1 2 300 and 350 360 370 380 and now 9 for 9 I and X all right 389 so what about 400 yes for writing 400 First, you need to write D, right? And then you need to write here one C in front. And writing, and which one is bigger now? D is bigger. Means you need to you need to consider this as a base and C in the left and right of the D. Now in left, it means subtracting how much? One hundred. So five hundred minus one hundred. How much you'll get? Four hundred. All right. So this is your four hundred. Now, if you're writing four hundred and fifty, what you'll do? Yes, you'll be writing uh, first D. That is your 500, and now I made it 400, and now I'm writing L in the front. It means I'm adding 50, so it is 450. I'm writing 439. So first I'll write 500, I subtracted 1. This is my 400, and now I'm going to add 39. 39 is uh, 410, 420, 430, and 439. The link, the this this sequence is breaking here. It means I need to take this together while learning, or while understanding. All right. And now I'm writing. Suppose, tell me anything. Suppose 488. Oh, this is a little bit in there. Mm. First 400, and then 50, 60, 70, 80, and eight more. So V I I I. Okay. This is I my I. My eye is really bad. Not this eye with which I'm watching. <laughs> My writing eye, okay. Uh finally 500. So writing 500, what do you have to do? You just you have to write D. What about 499? How you write this 499? Do you think D and then I? No, I already told you before D only C is possible, not I. If you write then that will be wrong. So this is 400 and again add 99. What is 99? Yes, that is X C. So CDXC, this is your 499. What about 495? So to write 495, again you write 495. What is your 95? XC is your 99, uh, uh, sorry, 90, and in 90 you're going to add 5. So what is going to be this? This is going to be now 495. 400, all right, 90, and then 5, all right. Here you're not going to take this together. Uh, means you're going to take this together again because the sequence is breaking D after D you know something different you're not going to take uh, D because D you're not going to include here D because D is the big boss you know yeah, D is the big boss because D is the biggest number among all so uh, in such cases what you have to do we need to check the biggest number and we need to see the left and then right of that in left we have C it means we are subtracting 100 and we are going to add this much part what is this much part this is 95 so 500 all right and 95 it is and subtracting 100 all right so 500 minus 100 400 plus 95 because I had in previous video I had told you first we need to deal with the minus part and then we'll be adding this so 500 minus uh, that is always safe actually that is why 500 minus 100 400 and 95 like that and there are a lot of cases if there is any any anything uh, confusing or any any such uh, problem while uh, understanding my explanation then please feel free to comment just below this video 
I'll try to get back to your comment and uh, please subscribe the channel that will be really appreciated goodbye